Hello, everyone, and welcome back to A Swift Look. I'm Zoe, and today we're going to be talking about Taylor Swift coming to Lady Gaga's defense, Travis Kelsey maybe revealing that Taylor Swift is still a very big Grey's Anatomy fan, some other stuff to discuss, but let's start with the first story, the story that has everyone feeling, I don't want to say happy, but love. Pe people have loved to see the sisterhood between Lady Gaga and Taylor Swift, but honestly, it's frustrating they've had to even do this in the first place. Let me explain. So Lady Gaga posted on TikTok earlier this week of herself getting her makeup done in the makeup ch chair. And on the on the screen, she wrote, not pregnant, just down bad, crying in the gym. Now, a lot of people obviously were like, oh my God, did Lady Gaga make a Taylor Swift reference? But the bigger part of it all was the fact that Lady Gaga had to tell people that she's not pregnant because apparently people were commenting on her body, making assumptions that she is pregnant, et cetera, et cetera. Now, We'll get into those comments in a, in a bit, but I do have to say, I loved seeing the Taylor Swift reference. And actually, upon reflection, I was like, I feel like Down Bad is totally the song that Lady Gaga would love the most from that album that even though it's not like a Lady Gaga type of song or style of song, it just, it's not surprising to me that Lady Gaga would like that song and make that reference. And she's also been really, really nice about Taylor Swift over the years. And I feel like they've had a really good connection since they both came up. So all that's great. But anyway, so Taylor, who has been really pretty silent on social media. I mean, she's posted on Instagram story or Instagram after her shows and stuff, but she's not really doing her Tay lurking thing. She'll occasionally like some posts, she'll like some TikToks, like some tweets, but she's kind of been more down low in terms of like her social media activity. But she jumped into Lady Gaga's comments of the TikTok uh, to defend Lady Gaga and to tell everyone to stop commenting on women's bodies. This is what Taylor wrote. Can we all agree that it's invasive and irresponsible to comment on a woman's body? Gaga doesn't owe anyone an explanation and neither does any woman. Preach, 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 preach. Taylor herself has had her fair share of body comments recently. I have seen a lot of people on social media commenting about the way that Taylor looks in her various outfits, claiming that maybe she's pregnant because of how she looks in the lover bodysuit, all these crazy, crazy things. And the first thing is Taylor herself has been really open and honest about her struggles with eating over the course of her life and how, especially back in the, you know, 1989 days and like when she was in her early twenties, she didn't really take care of herself. And she talks about this in the Miss Americana um, documentary about how she thought it was normal to like want to pass out after playing a show. And she, it wasn't until later that she realized like, oh no, 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 like you're supposed to fuel yourself and eat, which will give you energy so that you can exert that energy on the stage and feel good. And she, she was very honest and very open about her body and how she feels about her body and um, allowing herself and giving herself like the grace to just exist in the body that she has and to not judge herself, all of, all of these things. So then for people to comment and make assumptions or speculate or any of that stuff, it's just crazy. And whether it's, you know, Lady Gaga, whether it's Taylor Swift, whether it's people in your own life, like don't comment on women's bodies, just Plain and simple. Even if you think you are giving somebody a compliment, even if you think you're saying to someone, oh my God, you look amazing, or have you lost weight? I feel like people feel like asking, have you lost weight is a compliment. It's not always a compliment. There are a lot of people who lose weight, not because they want to lose weight, but because they're struggling with something, because they're dealing with a mental health issue, because they're struggling with some other health condition. Like you don't have to, you can, you can, you can admire people and you can give compliments without commenting on the body and the weight. You can say, you look fantastic. You're glowing. All these other things besides commenting on people's weight. And we should also for sure know that we should never, ever, ever, ever assume, speculate, question whether a woman is pregnant ever, unless they tell us 
they are pregnant. <laughs> like these are basic rules of humanity and human decency that I think we all need to follow. And it doesn't matter if you don't know these people. Like you might think that just like commenting something on a TikTok or an Instagram post is fine because you're not actually saying it to their face. It's still hurtful. So don't do it. Just don't do it. And uh, it should be it. Sh- it should be that easy. It should be that simple. Unfortunately, it's not. But I do love to see like Taylor supporting her and just kind of defending her. We love to see women supporting women. It's great. Okay, moving on to the next story, which is the news, I suppose, that Taylor Swift still watches Grey's Anatomy, despite the show being on for over 20 seasons, which is crazy. So we all know, I sh- I hope all of us know that Taylor Swift has been a massive fan of, of, of this show for a very long time. Her cat, her very first cat is named Meredith after Dr. Meredith Grey, the titular character on Grey's Anatomy. Um, so it's been a thing for a long time. We we know how much she loves, obviously, um, Grey's. And then also she loves Law & Order SVU because she named her other cat, Olivia, after Olivia Benson. We all know the story. Um, but Travis, I think it was last weekend, met Anthony Hill, who plays one of the doctors on the show currently. And apparently Travis told him that Taylor is still a fan of the show. So this is what Anthony wrote on Instagram, along with a picture of him and Travis. I may or may not have gotten confirmation that T. Swift does, in fact, still watch Grey's Anatomy. It was then made very clear that he absolutely does not watch with her, (laughs) which is funny. Um, I just have to say, as somebody who used to love Grey's Anatomy so much, I was obsessed with that show. I... It was my favorite show for so many years. I gave up on it a long time ago, like maybe back in season 13, 14, which I feel like is still a long time to be with a show. I cannot imagine someone still watching Grey's Anatomy. I would love to know if if you still watch Grey's Anatomy um, because I feel like you are the strongest soldiers. I don't think any show, honestly, should be 20 plus seasons. Like maybe it's time to hanging up. Um, but it's funny that Travis also made it very clear. Like I don't watch with her. This is a Taylor show. And, um, and I can kind of understand Taylor, like maybe when she's just after a run of shows and she's like, just needs to kind of turn off her brain. You put on Grey's Anatomy. It's easy. It's familiar. It's comfortable. It all makes sense. So I guess she's still, she still is a big fan. Um, and then Travis was on Good Morning America earlier today, and I think some people thought that like he was going to reveal something about Taylor Swift or he was going to go into detail. It was really more just like about Travis talking about you know his acting, other things he's got going on in his life. So he didn't really say anything specifically about Taylor, but he did say he's you know looking forward to what's coming next. Again, that could be anything, um, but he seems like he's really happy. He's in a great place, loving his life, loving where his life has led him, all of those things. Um, so yeah, happy for Travis. We have the Eras tour back up and running this weekend. She is um, starting back up in the UK. First run of shows in the UK, starting off in Scotland and Edinburgh. Um, so we'll be back next week with, you know, recapping those shows. I think, like I said before, I think we're going to start to see a lot more celebrities at these shows because a lot of famous people obviously live in in the UK. So it feels like we're heading in that direction. Um, So I'm excited to see, again, what surprise song she plays, who shows up, breaking it all down, all those types of things. As always, let me know your thoughts, your feelings, your concerns in the comments. I said this on a, I think, episode last week, but we have launched a new sports channel called A Fast Break. We dropped our second episode this week. I will link it in the description below. But if you love sports, if you want you know, a podcast style format show of people talking about all the stories happening in the world of sports, you can go and watch that. Subscribe to that channel. As always, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Follow us on social media and we will see you guys next time. Bye.